I didn't have a dog in that fight. Um, so the advice that I gave to the chief executive officer was objective, it was unbiased. I wasn't, I wasn't trying to tell him what he wanted to hear, and very often didn't. What does a chief restructuring officer do? And I'd say, well, my role was fairly typical in, in a case like this. Um, I reported to the chief executive officer. I sat on a small committee of uh, senior executives who directed the, the worldwide restructuring of General Motors. And my job was to work with the management, the investment bankers, ultimately to help negotiate with the United States government on on financing and on the plan of reorganization. Uh, and what it enabled the company to do is to focus on, the, <clears throat> on their day-to-day -day operations and let me and the lawyers and the investment bankers worry about the restructuring. I didn't have a dog in that fight. The advice that I gave to the chief executive officer, a guy by the name of Fritz Henderson, who's a wonderful executive, was Objective, it was unbiased. I wasn't, I wasn't trying to tell him what he wanted to hear, and very often didn't. But Fritz was a good listener, and we were able to make significant progress. Um, and what we needed to do was evaluate different options for restructuring the company, how to be most successful. Uh, and then we need to communicate that not only to our employees, but to our customers, to our vehicle owners, to the government, to our suppliers, um, to everyone. Um, General Motors was probably the highest profile restructuring ever to occur in the United States.